I'm, my name is Norman Solheit. I'm the uh, market development manager for Europe, uh, working for the company Agas, UK company based. And um, I will give you an overview of uh, Agas. What I will be concentrating on today is environmental services. That's the recovery of used refrigerants, so refrigerant waste. Then the treatment, the reclamation of this waste, so the separation of waste. And uh, then we are also offering to the market a whole package deal uh, where we give the customers who supply waste to us uh, a support for all the documentation for the transboundary shipments, so transfrontier shipments, that's TFS. So uh, everybody handing in waste to us uh, doesn't have to do with uh, doesn't have to deal with uh, environmental legislation or with the documents. We take care of that. So uh, Agas, of course, has substantial bike storage capacities uh, for virgin refrigerants and also a large fleet of cylinders for the recovery of used refrigerants. reclaimed refrigerant that is formerly refrigerant waste mixed refrigerant waste which at point of today is uh, in most of the European countries rather incinerated so lost for the uh, refrigeration industry Reclam reclamation of the um, refrigerants then is the separation of the different blends in the refrigerants and then bringing them back to um, a resellable standards, so the AHRI standard, 700 standard, so they can be resold as quasi-new refrigerants. So where do these 10,000 tons go then? This is an estimation we have done, and it's an average to be considered um, between all the 28 European Union countries. So you can't say it's exactly this or that. It varies greatly between the European countries, but it's an average. So we estimate currently that out of these 10,000 tons, 5,000 tons are currently being reused. So this is something which is perfectly legal. Uh, the product is being taken out of an old installation. It's cleaned. Oils, waters, uh, inertial, inert gases are being taken out, taken out, and then it's reintroduced into that one machine where it has been taken out or it's being introduced into other machines. So this is okay, unless, the, um, until the, the quality of the product which is being reintroduced is still according to the standards. So this is the majority, 50%. Uh, we estimate that uh, probably uh, 2,000 tons out of those 10,000 is currently being incinerated in the European Union, which is a real pity over the next years. You have seen that the reduction of quota uh, will make the reclamation of refrigerants more necessary. So these 2,000 tons are currently being uh, destroyed and they are wasted for the industry. 2,500 tons are being reclaimed and this is something which has to be increased over the next years. How can this, uh, this whole um, structure here, this infrastructure for the recovery of refrigerants, how can the different players profit from it? As I told you, it's a quite costly process to have the product incinerated finally. Yeah? There is fees in, involved and um, what we're kind of trying to install in Europe now is something where we give the, the whole industry uh, an incentive to not incinerate the product but to give it back, to have it reclaimed because then we can make it uh, available for the market later on. And uh, all the sources of uh, waste refrigerants supplying their waste to us would have preferential access to reclaimed product then afterwards. Our idea is that uh, only the remaining parts of refrigerants which are non-separable uh, or non-reclaimable should then be incinerated in the end.